obviously not ideal. Obviously wanted to, you know, go into the T20s with, with good momentum. But credit to Pakistan and the way they played and the way they fought back, um, you know, after being one all. I think we gave, you know, a good contest. And I think just a positive we can take out of the three games was, you know, obviously we didn't do well in the first game batting-wise, but the way, you know, our batters came back, the second and the third ODI, I think that was brilliant to see. Um, and I think all of the batters have huge confidence going into the T20s. I think it was a very important series for us. Uh, we felt very good after the series. Uh, we know how important the series for us. We just want this team to grow and going upwards. And I think uh, we're doing really good things. And I think the confidence we gain in, uh, from the one-day series will try to take this confidence in the T20 series as well. Decision making will be very quick uh, for individuals to take it inside. I think uh, we have to be very proactive uh, as uh, bowlers, as better as well. So we just need to play aggressive and positive cricket and don't think of the results. We'll try to give our best on the field. I think going into the T20s, obviously it's a shorter format. you got to be on the money from ball one. So I think it's just something, you know, every bowler coming in, you know, hitting the wickets and hitting the line and lanes that we know we have to. It's going to be crucial for the top three batsmen to kind of bat as long as they can. But I think overall, we love T20 formats and, you know, it's a good opportunity for us to, to experiment in terms of the World Cup that's coming up next year. Um, but obviously just taking it one game at a time. It's basically a mindset for us. I always say it's 80% mental and 20% skill. So for myself, just to go out there and just quickly get the change up between the 50 over and the T20, obviously it's a short format. And obviously we love the trend and like the girls, they love the T20 format much better than the ODI series, like some of the girls. But just for us just to go out there and play with lots of character and just get the momentum on our side in the first game. It's just for us just to go out there and work a lot on our variations because obviously as a bowling unit, the batters are all going to come after us. They always say it is a batters game, but for us bowlers, we never believe that so for us just to go out there use our variation and just obviously think think cricket they obviously have a great bowling attack with spin and nothing's going to change in in the t20s i think it's just the way we adapt to their spinners and not letting them settle into the line and lanes and i think t20 is all about you know entertainment and the way we play our shots and the different shots we play and i think that's something that's going to be very key just to be like i said proactive and just to play those unorthodox shots that maybe just unsettle them as a bowler i think it's a fast game and uh, south africa is a very good team as for T20, they have very good uh, hitters and they have a good uh, pace attack as well. So it will be a challenge for us. Uh, we'll try our level best to give our best on the field and inshallah we'll try to uh, keep the result in our hands. Maybe we win. Yeah, I think it's still a bit difficult with injuries, you know, leaving Danae Fanikag out of the side. We obviously want to get that winning formula and, you know, get that winning combinations. But nonetheless, I think just going into this 5 t is a good opportunity for us to experiment and to see just more or less what the batting lineup is going to be like and, you know, the bowlers, who's going to bowl when, who can open, who can bowl death and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, the World Cup is still a long way and anything can happen between now and then. But it's just a good opportunity for the girls just to showcase their talents and just to, you know, put their hand up for the selectors, just to say that we are here and we are ready for the World Cup.